Hello everyone, I'm Nick and welcome back to Fantasy Food Show. Today I'm joined by my friend Matt. Hi Matt. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. It's fall and one of my favorite fall shows is Over the Garden Wall, which Matt actually turned me on to. Matt, why do you like the show so much? Uh, I love Over the Garden Wall because it makes me laugh, it makes me cry, I think it's the perfect fall show. Uh, it follows these two brothers, Greg and Wirt, who venture into the unknown, uh, and they discover a little bit about themselves along the way. <laughs> That's a perfect, perfect explanation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one of the first creatures, I guess we could say, that yeah. they meet in the unknown are these little uh, black turtles and they keep appearing everywhere, we don't know why. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be a perfect thing to make on the show today. So join us as we show you how to make our Over the Garden Wall Gummy Turtles. Let us show you how it's done. To make the gummies, you will need water, gelatin, sugar, fruit juice, I'm using cherry today, pectin, light corn syrup, a pinch of salt, black food coloring, candy flavoring of your choice, and a turtle candy mold. I'll leave a link to this one in the description box below. And as always, all of the quantities you'll need can be found on the fantasyfoodshow.com website. All right, the first thing we have to do is bloom our gelatin. And we all know what blooming the gelatin means, right, Matt? Uh-huh. No. Great. Blooming the gelatin is when you hydrate the gelatin crystals so that when you put it into the hot sugar mixture, it melts more easily and doesn't uh -huh. pump up. Yes. But what we're going to do is we're going to add the pectin and the gelatin together first. So we've already measured out 15 grams of pectin, which is half a box, and this is 50 grams of gelatin, which is seven packets. So Matt, go ahead and put those two together. All right. Great. Give a little whisk around. All right. Now, we've got half a cup of tart cherry juice. Go ahead and put that into the bowl. Beautiful. Nice. And now go ahead and sprinkle that pectin and gelatin mixture over while you whisk right. those together. Nice. Let's see. Now this is gonna set up pretty quickly. You can see it's already happening. Yeah, very quickly. It's the magic of gummies. The magic of gummies. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> right? It's so fast. Here, you may want to get rid of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, All so right. tap, tap that out. Let's see. There you go. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah, it smells like hooves. While you're doing that, I'm going to start on the sugar mixture. So over here, I have a heavy bottom saucepan. And to the saucepan, I'm going to add my one cup of sugar. three tablespoons of water, three. Some here. There's some pectin oh, thank there. you. and three quarters of a cup of the light corn syrup. All right, great, that looks great. Turn on the heat, and I'm going to stir these together. Uh -huh. And you want to make sure you stir together at the beginning so that all the sugar dissolves in the water and the corn syrup. And then once it starts to come to a boil, you can stop stirring, and then you're going to place a candy thermometer in the side of your pot, making sure it doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. And you want to cook this to 290 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a good idea to spray your candy mold with some cooking spray. In testing the recipe, they did come out without doing this, but it definitely makes it easier. Once the sugar has come to temperature, take it off the heat and add the gelatin mixture into the pot. Give it a good whisk until all of the pectin and gelatin have dissolved. This might take a minute, so just be patient. Once that's all melted, add in the pinch of salt and your candy flavoring. Then add the food coloring. Be generous. We want these turtles to be nice and dark. Pour that mixture into a heat-proof measuring cup and then carefully fill your molds. This stuff will start to set right away, so you'll want to work quickly. Let them set at room temperature for at least two hours or until they're completely firm, and then unmold your gummies. 
And there they are, my over-the-garden wall gummy turtles. Okay, Matt. So in testing for this recipe this week, I created five different versions of these gummies and um, with different flavors and different um, thickening agents. Some of them are completely vegan using agar agar. Some use gelatin, mm -hmm. some use pectin, some use gelatin and pectin. So I thought it would be fun to taste these and see if you can guess what's in each of them. All right. Wanna do it? Yeah, okay, absolutely. So we'll do it together. Okay. So let's start with, let's start with the middle one here. So okay. go ahead and pick that guy up. Oof. What a fun texture. Yeah. Can you tell what it is from the smell? I can't. Right. <laughs> Ooh. A little tangy. Mm hmm Is this um is this a cherry? It is. It is a cherry. cherry I got juice. it. Yeah. Aha. And do you know what the thickener is? Mmm. The thickener. Ooh, that's wobbly. I'm gonna guess that this is gelatin and pectin. It is gelatin only. It's only gelatin. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it's much more like jello. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think if I used maybe more gelatin, it might have gotten a little harder, but yeah. these are much more like jello jigglers. Apple? Strawberry puree. Oh, yes it is. And mango juice. Yes. It, oh, and mango juice. Yeah, like I a mango, mango juice cocktail. Whoa. This one's almost crunchy. <laughs> Nobody ever wanted a crunchy gummy. Is this? So this is apple juice. This, this is, is just, apple. Yeah, this is oh, just okay. straight apple juice with straight a little bit of honey. Juice. Yeah. And can you tell what the thickener is? Is this agar agar? This is agar agar. This is agar agar. Yeah. Okay. Cool, so cool, for cool. those of you in science class in high school who had those petri dishes, that's what's on the bottom of that, right? And this is a completely vegan substitute, but you mm -hmm. do get a very, very different kind of texture. It's it's almost it's brittle. Like mm -hmm. sort of you can break it. But if you don't want to use gelatin, then agar agar might be for you. That's fascinating. Yeah. This isn't raspberry. Nope. It is. This is strawberry puree again. Oh, it's more. Wait. Yeah, but on. this is this just strawberry. Different from the other strawberry. So this strawberry is just it's strawberry, mm. um, little mm -hmm. water, lemon, and honey. Mm. Ooh. This is my favorite so far, texture-wise. Well, it's got a nice pull to it. Yeah, it's like a real gummy. Mm -hmm. I really found that gummy texture. So is this one raspberry? This is the raspberry. This is the one that we made today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the thickeners were, as you know. Gelatin and pectin. Gelatin and pectin. So I think that to get the most gummy texture, mm -hmm. you need to use gelatin and pectin together and, mm -hmm. and bring the sugar up to that, that temperature. Yeah. So these are really chewy, gummy-like. Mm -hmm. The other ones are good, too. So if you're vegan and want some another uh, substitute, I'm going to leave these recipes on fantasyfoodshow.com and you can check it out. Otherwise, this is your gummy turtle. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And let me know what you would like to see on a future episode of Fantasy Food Show. Matt, thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. It was great to have you in the kitchen. It was a pleasure. Yes, thank you so we'll have much to do more of these. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's gonna just stuff his face with these delicious gummies. Um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>